Hey skunks, welcome to Top Marks with your host, Carla Marx. That's me. All right, so this is the drag news information show that doesn't really give you a lot of breaking news, but makes fun of it in a pretty okay way. So we've got a busy week ahead of us. Let's get to it. We're going to start off with giving headlines. Do, 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 do. All right, so our top story is the COVID-19 virus. No shit, everyone's kind of talking about it because it's really screwed up a lot of people's lives. Ooh. Well, the novel coronavirus has hit the world pretty hard. There's thousands of cases and thousands of deaths at this point. Still, I can't really catch up to the U.S. military's death toll, but it's doing its best. There really isn't much a drag queen can tell you at this moment, other than to listen to the experts. Like, pretend that your genitals are burning right now, okay? Like, red hot. In that kind of situation, you don't consult your star chart. Gays, I'm on to you. You don't mix up the perfect blend of essential oils. You go to the experts. Okay, you find a nerd in a lab coat, and you follow what they tell you to do. So get out the club, and stay the fuck home. Toilet paper. Okay, what the fuck are you all doing with this much toilet paper? What weird currency is this going to become in the post-apocalyptic future? Will we pay by wipe instead of swipe? Are we going to pay by crap instead of tap? Seriously, people are hoarding so much that it will likely be inherited in wills at this point. And now we're going to give out our top marks of the week. Uh, you'll get it later. Well, to start off with, we're giving top marks to... Socialism. Well, comrades, thankfully our socialist leaders have safely and humanely guided the proletariat through this global pandemic. With universal basic income and free universal health care, we are well prepared to listen to the recommendations of our expert medical and pandemic deems to ride out this hardship without too much stress. Wait, we didn't do that? We didn't do any of that? No socialist utopia? No worker's paradise. We didn't need any of the rich. Not even Bezos. Come on, son of a bitch. We are so fucked. Well, maybe at least this will finally serve as a catalyst for the class consciousness that we desperately need, where we can make a system that benefits everyone, not just a bunch of trust fund, non-contributing wealth hoarders at the top. Okay, but actually, like, it is wild to see how many long-standing socialist demands suddenly be enacted by neo- very confused neoliberals. Like, they're so cute and bewildered. Uh, like, maybe we should help people instead of corporations. Maybe universal basic income is actually amazing and totally feasible. Funding healthcare and sick leave and child support should be our focus, not regulating what bathrooms people can use? It's wild times for the neolibs right now. Watching neoliberals discover the value of human life is now officially my new kink. Uh, seeing them realize how much of our daily existence depends on people working for minimum wage is like sexual powers for me. Finding out and figuring out that their profits are just unpaid wages? Like, fuck me, communist daddy. Alright, our next Top Marks Award winner is Netflix! Yeah, the online streaming giant really couldn't have planned this better. Are they secretly behind this? There's now literally a captive audience for all of those shows about men who take women captive. I mean, heck, even another week of isolation and even the Netflix original content is going to start looking appealing. How do they find so many angsty, clean-cut teenagers? Do they have a factory of them? Are these just assembled out of old guest models and Hannah Montana videos? Probably. Just remember that when you decide to plop on the couch and fire up Netflix to cope with this dark times, that it was art. They got you through it. Support your local starving artists, or they might not be there when this is all over. The next point that gets top marks of the week is touching your face. Oh god, I didn't know how good I had it when I could do it. It's gone! My sweet, squishy face. I just want to touch it. It's just so... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh god. Um, honestly, though, doing drag really prepares you for this, because you just can't touch your face, so it's not too hard for me, but... As soon as you can't do it, you really miss touching your face. The next winner of Top Marks is Introverts. 
Score one for the inside, kids. Looked like years of deep social anxiety were actually razor, razor sharp defense skills. Who knew that your crippling fear of the outside world and complete distaste for any human contact at all would make you ideally situated for this crisis? And now you can sit back and laugh at all the muscle bound disaster prep survivalists. Well, I assume you're laughing because there's really no way to check as we're all inside now in isolation. Well, we've got to do it, friends. We've got to give out the bottom marks of the week as well. Bill deferrals! Get bottom marks. Bottom marks for bill deferrals? Aren't those a good thing, Carla? No! Call me when it's bill forgiveness, okay? It's a trap. An Admiral Akbar sized trap. Don't fall into this one, okay? If they're just pushing back your bills, you still owe them. You are falling into debt with them, okay? Who has an extra month of living expenses? What are you going to do? You're going to take that money and you're going to buy food with it, which you need to do, right? But then you're a month behind and then the penalties are going to come. The fees are going to come. It's going to be a nightmare. Try to do it without getting this. Or what if we all rose up and demanded debt forgiveness? Hundred percent. And also, like, I know, like, everyone's like, oh, but think of the landlords. Those parasites? I'm sorry. But maybe you should have come up with a career that doesn't involve you living and preying off of the credit of others. Get a new job. One that doesn't exploit people. Okay? Um, really, for landlords, first against the rev first against the wall when the revolution comes. Bottom marks, unsurprisingly, Donald Trump. Yes, Nacho Mussolini has revealed himself in most spectacular fashion as a complete fraud. Really, the COVID pandemic was coming, uh, a humanitarian crisis for the ages, and your first thought was to lower interest rates? Okay. Even for Agent Orange, this was a particular low point in what has really been four years of successive low points. And now he's trying to whip up his racist support base with xenophobic attacks on China? Come on. Attempting to rebrand the novel coronavirus as the China virus, or sorry, China, is really such a weak move that Donnie Bonespurs would try it. Really, the China virus? You don't want to start doing this, because if we're going to add up all the bonehead things that come out of America, you're going to lose. We could just start with drone strikes. Uh, and our final bottom marks of the week go to holy water cures. That's right. In an unsurprising yet still quite revealing story, the Vatican and many Christian churches have removed ho healing holy water and miracle holy cures from their services around churches. Really? Is, do we have a faith issue? There's uh, not enough belief in the water? Um, I thought this stuff was supposed to be amazing. In other news, the Vatican is also debating canceling Easter. I guess this year Jesus just stays dead. Bummer. This has been Top Marks with Carla Marks. Tune in next week when I will probably pull some more bullshit out of my ass and see if y'all like it. Stay safe and stay the fuck away from each other.